Good morning, everybody. All right, on today's episode of Science with Gonzalez, we're going to finish our dots if you haven't already. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is really cool. And it goes back to, remember the choice boards where you had choice of how to show your learning? Uh, we did it with the Passion Project. We did it with um, our other water quality environmental stewardship project where you were able to pick how you want to show what you learn. Because really, what matters is what you learned. But you should have choice and, and creativity in how you show it. It makes it more fun, too. Um, just a reminder, I had about half of you yesterday uh, take your attendance. So make sure you do that. You got the link here, right, in Classcraft. Uh, you also have it in your Cohort C Science Google Classroom. It's got both of them right there. So everyone should be doing it. All right. But today, let's go to the quests. Um, we're still in climate change. And some of you have already submitted your dot, but we'll go over how to do uh, more with your music. Uh, and you're going to put the link there when you're finished. All right, so I just want to show you how to complete this quest, because if you haven't finished it already, you're going to finish today. Okay, so those of you who finished, you um, were at your Spark video, all right? You got your slides, you uh, change the duration of each slide so that your reader can read. You don't want it to go too slow or bore them, but you don't want to go too fast and frustrate them. It's that happy medium. You had some cool different uh, styles here. I like the split screen one, pretty cool. And then of course you could choose your music. Once you had all that done, it's as simple as download. Really, that's it. You download it, you've got your video with music, uh, and, and that's a good first step. So while that's downloading, it's gonna create a file, and then all you have to do, for those of you who haven't done this yet, is go to youtube.com, and just make sure you're logged in with your school account, because this is for school projects, right? You go up to your profile up here, you go to your channel, and if you haven't set up your channel, because you've done this for the first time, it'll lead you through some steps. The first step, um, don't worry about uploading a profile picture. Skip that, because it runs into issues and it won't let you set up your uh, channel. But just get to the end, and then you're here, and, and you've got the upload. There's a plus up here. It looks like a camcorder. And then you select your file, and you're going to select the file you just downloaded. Mine is walkmore.mp4. I just downloaded that. Um, so that, that's it. That's what you could do to be done today. And some of you, you figured that out. You already did that. You downloaded it. But today I want to show what those of you who are going to add your own original music are going to do. So first things first, do what I just did. Download the file. It'll be in your folder under Downloads. It's called Walkmore because I called my video Walkmore. And if I go home, I can look at my project. There it is, Video Walkmore. Okay? Now, next thing is my sound, my music. So you've got your video. Maybe the music Adobe Spark came with did not appeal to you, didn't really go with your, the mood you wanted to set. So I'm going to go to Files, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to open up the one I started. So this is the song I want, or the music I want to go with my video. Okay, let's say for whatever reason, that's what I like. What you're going to do is go to this arrow here. This is your export arrow. Now, for free, there's only one version, export low res mp3. And it's going to export it, which look, it downloaded it. Now I've got two files, walkmore.mp4, that's video, reducefossilfuels.mp3, that's music. Ah, 
Now that you've got the files downloaded, see, this is the important part. Have the files on your computer. Now comes the fun part. Now, some of you are already videographers. You have your own software, but for those of you who've never edited video, you don't have software, here's what you wanna do. Type in WeVideo and go to WeVideo.com. WeVideo allows you to do all this stuff that, that you can do with a, with a video editing software for free on your browser. So it doesn't matter if you have a Chromebook, doesn't matter if you have Windows 10. So you're gonna sign up with your school Google. So you can sign up through Google, but I already signed up, so I'm gonna log in with Google. I'm gonna use my school Google, not my personal Google. And then you're gonna go up here to create new video. Now watch this. Here's the important part. My media import. You're going to browse to select and you're gonna import your video. And then while that's importing, I can also import my song. You wanna put in both files. And you can see I've done this before. I've got test one song, I've got my water pollution. I've also got a, a video I did with my webcam. You can do anything. Notice they're getting ready. Once they are ready, see what you have down here? You've got these different like channels you did with Soundation. So I'm gonna take my video and I'm gonna put it on video one. And if you probably figured it out, yeah, I'm gonna take my audio and I'm gonna put it down here on audio one. Now my audio is kind of long and um, if it was too short, you could click on it do control C to copy and then control V. You gotta paste it right here. Oh, this is tricky. You gotta be right where you, oh yes, you gotta put this playhead where you want it to paste. Try that again. Boom. Okay, you gotta get it just right. There we go. If you put the playhead with enough space, you can make your song loop over and over again. See that? It was just a matter of control C to copy, move your playhead, control V to paste, and then move your music so that there's not much of a gap. But I don't need two of them. I actually have to cut this one. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna cut this file right here. See that, the cut? I mean, look at this. You can cut pieces of your video. Um, you can cut your music. You can also, if you um, click here, this is really great, show levels, you can make your music, if you click right in here, you can make it so that it, it lowers the volume as it's getting close to the end of the video. So it doesn't just stop abruptly. Abruptly. So watch this. Oh, first of all, my video, I don't want the sound there, right? Look at this. I can turn it down right there. Now, if I'm going too fast, this is video. It's not like next week where we're gonna be live and you're gonna to have to raise your hand virtually and stop me and have me show again. You can pause this, go back and watch, okay? See how the music fades out? That's what you want. Now, because we video is free, it comes at a price. And the price is not money. The price is they put their logo here and they put their end credit because it gives credit to them because they allow us to use it for free. Uh, but it gives you a lot of power here and then you've got your own original music. I know, am I right? Yeah. And there's so amazing things you could do here. Uh, like if I show, let's see, show the levels, you could change stuff in here. Uh, one of the things, actually I won't show that, but if you had part of the video you didn't want, but you wanted the sound, you could hide the video, have the sound play. I, I know, it allows you to do all that. Pretty fancy for web-based, number one, and free, number two. So once you're done, because it's that quick, look how quick I did this. I know, you could do this in minutes.
So everyone will turn in their ace dot today. Uh, and if you haven't unlocked the assignment on Classcraft because you're still working on your ocean acidification or your climate change notes, just send me a link to the YouTube on Classcraft message. You could finish this even before you've caught up with your missing work. See, you can at least do this one because, uh, come on, this is fun. So the title, Reduce Fossil Fuels. And then here's where it gets, um, you, you wanna download this file too. You want video, you want SD because this is paid and then you export. And just like I did with Adobe Spark video and with Soundation, this is gonna create a file and download it to my uh, computer. Then you're gonna go back to your YouTube channel, click on Create, Upload Videos. That's it, folks. That's how easy it is to make a professional, beautiful looking dot commercial. I know, and there we go. It is done. So I'm gonna go here. And from here, let's see, right there. See that? Download. Boom. Done, people. Oh, rats, it called it my video. I don't like it when it does that. So I'm going to go in here and, uh, actually, I don't even have to do it there. Watch this. When you upload it to YouTube, so it's called my video. Yuck. Not a good title. Nobody knows what my video is about. This is where you change the title. Or I can say reduce fossil fuels. I'm telling you what to do. And then give it a description. Um, this commercial is about reducing how much fossil fuels we burn to reverse the effects of climate change. And you select your thumbnail. Uh, you probably won't have it on a playlist. If you go to show more, you can put tags, you know, tags with your hashtag, hashtag bike more, hashtag walk more. Um, go over here and you can say, yeah, it's made for kids because you're a kid and you made it. So that's important. And then right here, it's going to do a check to make sure you didn't steal any copyright or royalty music. And then this part, make it public. Okay, make it public. We don't want unlisted or private. Otherwise, if you make it private, I can't even see it. And then you're done. Here's the link. Copy the link and give that to me. You're done, folks. You have a video and you're now a YouTuber. So let's take a look at a few that have already been turned in and see how they look. So this one's from Rosie. Now that was cool because Rosie, you did something unique. You, you stated your message with no pictures to distract your viewer. And, um, and you made it long enough for me to read. You know, one, one little thing, etc. is E-T-C, but hopefully people won't notice that. Since that's your only error, I'm gonna say, leave it, it's all right. Um, and then you put your pictures, which I thought that was uh, uh, very creative because now people can focus on the words when you have the words and the pictures when you have the pictures. 
I mean, that, that worked for me. So that was pretty cool. Here's another one. This one's from Deacon. You got some nice music there, right? I was liking that. So there's another example of a dot. All right. And then we've got last one from Jackson. I'm going to pause here. Just want to say, Jackson, um, what would be cool if you could spell solar right? So you guys spell check before you publish and before you put on YouTube because it's S-O-L-A-R. Oh, these are great. So there you have three examples from your very own uh, cohort of dots. And I like how you've got um, three very different ones. So so let's see. This one is rocking the, um, what was your dot? Ride bikes. So we got ride bikes. In other words, if you stop driving, you're gonna burn uh, less fossil fuels. And then we've got wear a sweater and um, unplug, stop using so much energy and bike more. And then we've got this one, which is focus on transits and electric cars and solar, uh, renewable energy sources. Mm, nice job, you three. All right, well, now we're ready to check in with our very own rider of they. You know him as Tommy, Tommy Vay. And today you're a wizard, Harry. You have been accepted to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Woo! All mages, you get 100 XP just for that. Boom. So that's Jack, Jackson, and Rosie, 100 XP in Team 1. And Team 2, Arissa, Trent, Mallory, and Courtney, 100 XP for you. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Have fun today with We Video. Play with v Wii Video, Foundation, and Adobe Spark Video, and finish your dots. And for those three who finish their dot, hey, consider making something new, just for fun. Sciencey, of course, because you want to do another science assignment. So make a fun science video. <laughs>